Hi everyone, my name is Dora. Welcome to my fourth update to my rolling project pan. I've been focusing on 10 different items and initially I had rolled them in randomly. And if you saw last month's update where I did a refresh, you would have seen that now five of these items are hand selected by me and the other five are randomized. So today I think it's gonna be quite an exciting update. I will have five new products rolling in. I'm gonna insert the swatches now um, and let's start talking about those five hand selected items first. So the very top item is um, a Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F1 and this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna roll that out now to show you the progress here. I had previously been using that as concealer and then rolled it in last month and selected it myself um, and basically got a ton of usage out of this actually. However, because we're now moving into the summer months, I am going to be rolling this product out and replace it with a liquid foundation because it's just too pale for me right now already, even though I'm in, you know, I'm in London. There's not a ton of sunshine, it's a bit cliche, but you know. I would have to buy like a cream bronzer in order to make it work during the warmer months for my skin tone and I'm not ready to do that. So therefore, I'm putting this on hold now. I have used that a total of 32 times in the past four weeks. Obviously, some days I do my makeup more than once. I am going to be replacing it with a liquid foundation that is pretty much the same shade as this. Um, and this is the Bon Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This comes with a bit of a caveat because I am 99% going to roll this out next month and replace it with a different item. The Revolution Foundation Stick went down from 2.6 centimeters to 2.05 centimeters. So across these 32 uses, I managed to use up five and a half millimeters of product. That means it takes me about six uses to use up one millimeters worth of product. Now you know. I think it would take me 120 uses, so four months in order to finish that in winter. We'll see. The next item on that swatch is a Bare Minerals Mini Pink Lipstick in the shade Rebound. And this is what that currently looks like. I've really enjoyed wearing this almost on a daily basis. I say that, but yeah, I think there were a lot of days where I didn't, where I just sort of forgot to reach for it and it's so tiny. I was hoping that the progress would be much more visible, but it isn't really. Um, I am wearing it on my lips today and I have mixed it in with a brown, metallic lip liner um, and I've also enjoyed mixing this with like a peach colored lip balm uh, just to you know make some different tones out of this because depending on what eyeshadow I'm using this isn't always the greatest match. In the past month I used it 24 times and I figured at this pace it would take me another three months in order to finish it completely. The next item is this Maybelline cream eyeshadow. I use as a base in this sort of taupey color. And this is where I'm at right now. If you watched my inventory update uh, from this month, then you already know that this is a declutter. When I swatched it, as I was recording that video, I noticed how terribly it's swatched, like in a super patchy way, it's dried out. I mean, I bought this in 2019, so it's already three years old. And to be honest with you, when I bought it, it was already not in like great condition. So this is like, it's time to just say goodbye to it, you know? And what I'm gonna do, because I do like this jar, I'm going to clean that out, disinfect it, and I'm then going to use it for like creating my own lip balm with it and putting that in there. I've got another one like this that I completely panned and emptied in 2021. And I just put some Bepanthin like skin ointment in there and love it. So I used this a total of 13 times before I decluttered it. And in its place, I'm bringing in just another one like that. But this is still in a really good condition, I think. And it swatches really nicely. And it's just, yeah, same, same brand. Just this like brown metallic cream eyeshadow that I really, really like. And yeah, I like it a lot, basically. 
let me give you a swatch of it. So this is what that looks like. I do really like it underneath another brown shimmery eyeshadow or, you know, even if it like goes more towards the oranges or reds, but yeah, this is just such a good base. My goal is to hit pan on it before or jar, before I can roll it out and replace it with a new product. That fourth swatch comes from the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Rose Gold. I have used that a ton and I'm going to fully extend that now and this is where we're at now. And I'm going to insert the visual reference as well. I have used that a total of 20 times and it's gone down from 2.7 centimeters to 2 centimeters exactly, which means that I have used 7 millimeters of this shimmer stick. And if you want my nerdy formula, um, it takes me about two to three uses in order to use up one millimeters worth of product. So I reckon it will take me another three months in order to finish this. And that final swatch comes from this Rimmel long wear, I think it's like something like 24 hour um, long wear eye crayon in brown metallic. Um, it's the second time I'm using up one of these. I really enjoy this one. It's very, very waxy, maybe a little bit too waxy. So yeah, I, f I find myself flying through this product. I have used it a total of 35 times and I've also sharpened it three times. And this product has gone down from 7.4 centimeters to 6.2 centimeters, which means I've used up 12 millimeters worth of product. It also takes me around three uses to use up one millimeters worth of product and I reckon it's gonna take me four more months in order to finish it completely. Okay, those were my hand-selected items, and now let's get on to the randomized items. A lot of them were eyeshadows that have been in here right from the intro, um, but yeah, we're gonna have, I don't know if you counted, <laughs> we're gonna have three rollouts now. On that swatch, that very top shade, actually all three of them, um, come from the Revolution Pro Regeneration Palette and that very top one is this shade here called Light and including today I have used that 10 times um, thereby hitting my target which means this is a rollout. That next shade is Energy just right next to Light right here and yeah goal is 10 uses as well. Across the past month I've used it three times so this is staying in for another seven uses. And the final shade from this palette is Somnium over here and I have used that a total of two times. Terrible behave. So this is staying in for another eight uses. That next shade comes from the Max Factor Cappuccino Nudes palette which I have had since I was pregnant so Oh, it's been a while. Um, and it's the third shade here. It doesn't have a name. Uh, goal was to use it 10 times and I have hit that target. So yay, another rollout. And that final swatch right there is the um, Collection Gorgeous Glow Liquid Highlighter Drops. I had a 20 use goal on this. Last update, I was at 18 uses and in the past month, I used it an additional four times. So at 22 uses, this is a rollout. Um, I just wanted to show you how much of a nice windowing is going on there. Okay, so let's randomize. I'm going to be randomizing three items between the numbers 1 and 52. Number 20, number 7, and number 47. Let's see what they are. So first up is this Makeup Gallery Pout It Out Lip Liner in the shade Mango Splash. So this is what that shade looks like swatched. Maybe I've even had it in this project. I feel like I might have done. Um, anyway, I think that this will go really nicely with this Pink Bear Minerals lipstick. As you know now, I do enjoy mixing colors together on my lips. Um, yeah, I really quite like those two next to each other. I'm going to put this at 15 uses, which is what I've sort of given myself for any lip products. Um, I don't know, because I'm not panning another lip liner right now. I may well keep it in here for longer, but we'll see. The next item that I'm rolling in this month is a uh, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in the shade Original Mineral Veil. This is what that looks like. Um, 
I've really like been focusing on my powders this year so far and I had been working on expanding this pan in a revolution pressed powder and thereby, you know, really neglecting this uh, Bare Minerals powder. It's, I've only got three powders, so I think it's good to have this roll into a project again to show it some love. Loose powder is so much better in your makeup bag than a pressed powder, which just always shatters, at least for me. So, um, yeah, 15 uses as well, but again, this may stay in, or rather, I might replace it. Same as with this one, but it will stay in my makeup bag anyways. Final item, it's this Rimmel foundation here. No idea what shade it is, cause I've taken off the label. If you compare it to the Abon, it's quite a few tones darker. And I think mixing these two together will be actually quite good. Um, also 15 uses for this one. Again, I will see how these two work together and what kind of tone that will be for me. So just to recap, we're definitely going to have, from my chosen items, we're definitely going to have one rollout next month because I said I was going to switch it again. All the other ones are going to stay within the project, I'm pretty sure. As for the randomized items, I do foresee myself hitting most of those targets. I'm going to try really, really hard to hit all of those targets and then have six new roll-ins for you next time. So make sure that if you're new here, that you do hit that subscribe button and follow me along on my panning journey. All right, that's it for me. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And take care, sending you so much love. Mwah.